we got a weird Amazon listing uh, for yet another unexpected Power of the Primes like specialty figure. So here we have Transformers Power of the Primes Punch and Counter Punch that will come with Prima. Now the special thing about this is specifically the Prima figure because up to this point we haven't had really an announcement of where Prima was going to be uh, as a Titan Master figure or a uh, you know a Prime Master figure in this case. So we have a special Prima figure that's going to be coming with Punch Counter Punch now. From what we have from this Amazon listing, it just says Special Edition, Transformers Generations, Power of the Primes figure, Deluxe Class, Punch, Counter Punch, converts between Autobot, Decepticon, and Sports Car mode. So first thing we know right away, it's he is going to still turn into a sports car, mm -hmm. and it's going to have the double agent gimmick. Next thing it says is Punch, Counter Punch figure is designed to reflect his G1 release to two distinct robot modes and a feature premium detail. So uh, again doing what the original toy did as, as well as what the character is known for. Mm. Includes a special edition Prima Prime Master figure and comes in special edition packaging again so it's going to have that fancy packaging and it's going to come with a special Prima figure which is the first of the original 13. Mm -hmm. Includes deluxe Punch Counter Punch figure special edition Prima two accessories and instructions ages plus and up. And then the last thing it says, celebrate the Prime Wars trilogy with special edition, blah, blah, blah. It features two modes, you know, Autobot Decepticon. The Autobot Double Agent was a huge hit with the original 1987 release. This version is faithful to the original reflecting G1 figure, plus it comes with a special edition clear ice blue Prima. Ooh. So that's so we're going to get a clear ice blue Titan Master. It's 7.5 inches deluxe figure, and the Prima is 1.5 inches. I, I, the reason why I'm bringing up this stuff, uh, specifically these small little pieces of information, uh, then it says, like, okay, again, here, insert the Prima figure into the accessory, then attach to the chest. Uh, wield the power of the Prime, blah, 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 13, right. 18 steps transfer. The reason why I bring this all up is because all of these exclusives that we've gotten thus far have been repaint retools of molds. Mm. This one doesn't really specify what he's going to be repainted and retooled from. The thing that's even more weird is because, like, let's say it wasn't Punch Counter Punch. Let's right. say it was any other Autobot car. I would have been like, well, they're taking that jazz mold <laughs> and, and they're going to repaint it and maybe give them a new head or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but because they say that it has the two distinct robot modes, that really makes me raise an eyebrow. And, and I look back like at the modernized interpretations of Punch and Counter Punch and like, they were really smart when the Transformer Timelines, the club exclusive one, they took the Classics Generations Universe 2.0 uh, Sideswipe and Sunstreaker and they were able to make punch counter punch with that because when you turn it one way it was sideswipe and when you transformed it another way it was sunstreaker so when they took that they were like well we could do a punch counter punch from this and they put a new head that was able to pull off that gimmick it was a really you know smart use of that mold yeah mind you i think that toy was like 59 dollars for a deluxe which was really expensive <laughs> for a deluxe but that was the club stuff back then yeah and then the recent uh 5.0 subscription service which i had a little hand in and this was actually one that i was kind of uh objective to i was actually kind of questioning why they wanted to do it was they took the uh the combiner wars wheeljack and they just made that counter punch mm. you know uh and it didn't have like a double agent gimmick it was just like yeah it'll be the decepticon one and that's right. it and to me, I was even going like, guys, like within the wheelhouse of the club, you guys already did a punch counter punch. Why do you want to revisit it again? And well, that was yeah, that I was see, there. I see it up here with, uh, I guess they took, um, was it Sideswipe? No, it's the the combined Sunstreaker. They took the Sunstreaker one. Oh, you're That's talking about the, the originals? One? Yeah. No, the G1, the G1. Uh, well, no, sorry, um, the Classics one. Yeah, the first the classic yeah, one, yeah, I used the sideswipe. Uh, I think it was the Gallar Gallardo mold, whatever it was. Oh, it was the Sunstreaker mold, no? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sunstreaker from, slash sideswipe. Excuse me, yeah. excuse me. They like they shared that mold, and so they they were really clever with the engineering to make it have like two robot modes. Yeah. But you know when they did the the Wreckers one here with the the subscription service, they just mm -hmm. stuck with one. And again, I, I wasn't a big fan of it personally. They had a lot of other ideas that were on the cutting room floor that I would have preferred more, mm -hmm. but someone wanted that one. So, but in this case, it looks like they are legitimately going for two different robot modes. Right. So I was like, oh, well, if they're going for two different robot modes, then you got to really have a, a mold that you could twist both ways to get, you know, two designs. And I mean, I, 
I mean, if you're really like stretching it, I think that maybe every Transformer toy, if you really are clever, you could make a second robot mode where if you twist the head around and, you know, you could say like, okay, this is going to be like, I mean, if you take like um, Titan Returns Hot Rod, right? And if you twist the head facing the other way, and now you got that V chest instead of it being his back spoiler, now it's kind of like, you know, Mazinger Z, you know what I mean? Where he just has like that giant breast yeah. attack. Th- so it's like, I mean, if you really want to stretch it, I'm pretty sure there's some toys where you could kind of twist things around and say, oh, yeah. this is the alt mode. So I don't know. Maybe there, maybe, because I'm looking at like what, what cars, because I don't want to say that this is a brand new mold. Right, because exactly. I, I can't imagine they do that. But I want to think that they probably went back and, I mean, if well, it's the... Pro- if, if it was a the- brand new mold, what would you recolor that into, you know? Well, well, I, the only one I could think of is a really departure of, let's say, Double Dealer, who was also a double agent. Mm. Um, but even Double Dealer was kind of like a tank kind of missile thing. So it's right. like that would be a big departure. So, I mean, it's, it's yeah, again, it's one of those things that what do you do afterwards with it? So it, it has to be they took something and are just trying to be really clever. The question is, what is that figure? And, and, and to me, it's like it's probably not something that's the Headmaster, Titan Master gimmick because they don't mention that. So mm-hmm. it's got to be something that doesn't house that gimmick. So I'm looking at Jazz. I'm looking at... Um, you know, some of the others, but I mean, I'm, I'm looking at jazz. I'm just going like, are they going to like just twist jazz's head the other way and go, yeah, other mode, you know, and put like a, I don't know, put a rub, put a rub sign on the other side, just like go to set the con logo. Remember before we were like, Oh, uh, if they, um, read, if they do a classics wheel Jack, they're totally going to do jazz. And we were super adamant that they're going to do it. And then they took the tracks mold and redid it. Remember? And just yeah, well, the, totally spin it on on its head, kind of thing. So I could see them like we're thinking jazz, and they'll just do something with another character that we never thought, and then make it work. So I mean, like again, we don't know yet. I mean, I have my speculations, but uh, obviously, anyone if they feel they have an idea, like chime in definitely in the comments on this. But one thing I also want to mention, I remember people were like, you know, talking about how it's such a shame that like Japan stopped doing their side of the Legends line, and and how Bakon doesn't exist. I mean, we're we're now. It's like Bakon is absent now, and mm. Legends isn't doing their own thing. But now we're ending up with all these exclusive weird repaints. Yeah. You know. So I think like Amazon's kind of picking up the slack because now we got like three of these lined up. You know. So it, it's. I feel like it's like yeah, we don't get a Bakon box set of five figures now, but now we're getting all these exclusives from all these different sources. Mm-hmm. I mean, like we still don't even know where where Rekar is going to be. You know, mm-hmm. is that going to be a Walgreens thing? So it sounds like. You know, the, the the energy that, I guess, Hasbro was so used to putting into with, say, Bacon every year for the past, like, 25-plus years. Amazing how long it's been. Yeah. Um, that they're now they're just putting it into Amazon and other locations. So it's, it's pretty cool. But uh, right now we don't know. Um, I'm going to maybe I'll just post some images of Jazz. Maybe someone did a Photoshop. I'll look online, see yeah. if anyone could f- figure out what it might be. But definitely chime in and let us know what you think.